You have Kawhi Leonard uh, replacing DeMar DeRozan. But, but also you have a change in, in coaches. Yeah. And, and, and you're familiar with this. And, and tell us a little bit, because the system seems fluid, and, and Coach Casey is doing his thing in Detroit, not yeah. to make this about him, but what's the difference in, in, in Toronto offensively, and, and how did he get to this point? Who, who is this coach? Yeah, Nick Nurse. Uh, he was in the Houston organization, ran the, the, D League, the G League team down there. And a very good offensive coach, really uh, a lot of creativity. I know he worked really hand-in-hand -hand last year with Dwayne Casey trying to change their offense, just getting, you know, mm -hmm. shooting more threes, more space and pace, more uh, more spread offense. And Kawhi Leonard just fits that perfectly. I mean, yeah. he's making plays. You see him, he's shooting those step-back threes. And, and don't know, forget Danny Green. Yeah, Danny Green, adding <laughs> him is, is yeah. another guy that really knows how to space and, play, and, and, and how to uh, make that three ball work for you. So I think Nick Nurse will do a nice job. But the biggest thing, honestly, is that Kawhi Leonard is just a hell of a basketball player yeah. and much better player, in my opinion, than DeRozan. Yeah. Just, <laughs> And Zeke, when we look at that team, because you're right, Toronto is showing us something. It's only three games in, but is this the Eastern Conference preview, especially with the slow starts, meaning the first and second quarter uh, for the Celtics, and how concerned are you with them this early in the season? Well, you, you're not concerned because you know they have enough talent and yeah. they have a, a, a great coach who can get them out of it. However, you know, there are some trends that we're seeing early with the Celtics in terms of their slow starts in the first quarter. You know, they've yet to shoot over 40% in the first quarter. And tonight, again, they started in the first quarter. They only shoot 35%. So that's what's happening with the Celtics. And in that game, they made a, they made a lineup change, you know, at the start of the yeah. third. Yeah, taking Gordon Hayward out the yeah. starting lineup. Yeah, so I, I, look, at, I look at them, the, the first 10 to 15 games, they're, they're tinkering a little bit. But I, I think they're going to probably end up making a, a, a lineup change with their first unit. Because this first unit, while they're offensively talented, right now they're offensively challenged. Mm. 